Double exposure photography can look really awesome when it's done right. Find out how to do it in today's video. Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rocker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do double exposure photography. Now when you're taking your photo you want to make sure that you place your subject in front of a white wall or a white backdrop. Now you want to overexpose this white backdrop and then you want to make sure that no light is hitting your subject. You want to try and get your subject to be as silhouetted as is physically possible. So if you're inside of a studio then make sure that no lights are spilling onto your subject. Make sure that the lights are only hitting the back wall. Now once you've taken this photo you need to go and find another photo and this is going to be for the background. So this could be the city skyline or it could be a shot of nature. Just make sure that it looks really cinematic and make sure that it's going to look really awesome when it's behind this image. Now once we've got both of these photos we need to get them onto the computer and load up Adobe Photoshop. So once we're inside of Adobe Photoshop we just want to begin by creating a new composition so we'll just rename this to double exposure and we'll just create that there. And then you just want to drag your photo into Photoshop and just scale this up to a point where you're happy. So I'm just scaling this up so that it's just a close up. And then from here, we just need to go into the levels and adjust the levels to make sure that the white and the black are really far away from each other. We want to make sure that there is a lot of contrast in this image. So the whites need to be vivid and the blacks need to really stand out. Now from here, I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to pull the saturation down to 0%, make this a black and white image. So now selecting that image and the two filters, we want to convert this into a smart object. And this is just going to convert those three layers into one layer. And now from here, we can just import our background photo. So this is a picture of America. This is New York. We just want to scale this up so that it is covering the person. Now, as soon as your image is in place, you want to go across the tab on the right and you want to pull this image underneath the photo of your talent. If we wanted to, then we could take the colors away and make this black and white, or we could add the colors back in. Or we could also try adding another object. So this is me handstanding on Waterloo Bridge in London. I'm going to pull that underneath that person, that photo. And then I'm just going to scale this up, making sure that top layer is locked. So we're just going to hit Command and T, and that's just going to bring up Transform. And then we can just adjust the scale of this image. Now that looks really nice, although I do want to bring my colors back in this one. So I'm just going to disable that hue slash saturation layer. And there you go. That is your double exposure photo effect now complete. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and push that bell icon to stay updated on all future uploads. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do truly appreciate it. I hope you're having the most incredible day today. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.